Hi guys, let's talk about making money as a freelancer with the skills that you already have or with the skills that you can easily learn from maybe YouTube or Google. There is so much today that you can do online and I bet there's a skill or two that you already have that you can use to make money online. And this is something that I'll be discussing out of my own experience. In 2020-2021, I trained myself how to become a social media manager and the very first grant that i got was paying me 200 us per month to handle their social pages and from that i am very passionate about social media management even though i don't do it currently i would easily go back to social media management and i'm sure i would get jobs in case you're new here hi i am sarah if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button like and share this video kindly make sure you like this video so the first thing that you want to do if you want to make money online as a freelancer is to know what skills you have what can you do any skill that you may have you may know how to cook you may know how to like for example write articles you may be good at social media management start with identifying what you can do for example when i started social media management I am very passionate about social media by the way and even recently I started a new YouTube channel that's focusing on social media. So start by identifying what you have, what you can do, the skill that you may have and build from there. So the next thing that you do is to create a portfolio. When I started to learn about social media management, I went on YouTube, did my research and I saw I needed a portfolio. I needed to show people like this is what I can do. So what I did, I talked to my friend, took his social pages for his businesses and worked on them. I revamped the bio. I started creating content for him and I started managing the pages for like two weeks and also talked to another person and my own pages. So those were three pages that I was working on for about a month. I practiced with them and also doing research on the site. So I used to go on YouTube, go on Google, do a lot of research. So I worked for them, got the results. I also asked the two to write for me written reviews in my DM. I also started my own social media management page and worked on it. And that's how I was able to get my first grant. So when they asked me for my past work, I submitted these two pages plus my own page on Instagram and they were impressed. And that's how I was able to get a job. So how do you create a portfolio? As for me, I used Canva. You can go on Canva and just search for portfolio and you're going to get templates and that's what you will use to create your own portfolio. If you're doing a physical business, for example, you have a bakery, you have a nails business, you have a makeup business. So you have to have good pictures, for example, posted on your social pages, good pictures and videos for your results. For example, if it's makeup, you can take pictures for the results with no filters. You can take the process of doing makeups. You can do a different challenges online. And guys, the worst thing about it, I don't know whether it's good or bad thing for you to make money online today. You have to put yourself out there. For example, if you're doing makeup, you have to put yourself out there doing makeup, taking images. If you're doing baking, you have to put the process in there, show people that you're doing it. And that's how you're going to attract potential clients. So put yourself out there. If you're into nails business, put clips of yourself out there doing the nails, put pictures out there and one important thing also is to identify one social and focus on it for example if your target audience is on facebook you're going to focus more on facebook if your target audience is mostly on instagram you're also going to put more effort into it and i would also advise you for your business's sake start also a youtube YouTube is very diverse. Even if you get 10 views, 20 views, it's very diverse and it's going to put you out there than you may even think. The next thing is knowing how to praise yourself. I struggled with this and especially when I started with social media management. So my very first client was from Canada and I asked them for 200 US. I didn't know about the Kenyan market. I had inboxed a few people on Instagram, but as you know, many people don't want to share information. So I ended up working with a Canada client and I used to defend Kenyan client. Why? Because most of them would tell you like, I'm going to give you 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. And later came to know that in Kenya, the market value for a social media manager was between 10 and 15,000 
which was way below what I got as my first client. So knowing how to position yourself and to price yourself is very important. If your target audience, for example, like me, was not Kenyan, you of course going to charge a bit higher than when working with a Kenyan client. And the final thing about it is to market yourself. Make sure you put yourself out there. Market yourself. When you're creating the videos and the images, their main reason should be marketing you. Put yourself out there, push yourself. If you have to pay for ads on social media, if it's Instagram, on Facebook, put the ads out there and also know how to position yourself. As a beginner, when you're trying to like put yourself out there, you have so much to do to learn about the social media. For example, know how Facebook works know how instagram works know how reels work and just everything about social media know about images when you post a poor quality image and another person post a high quality image for example instagram is going to push the high quality image more than your very poor quality image you have to learn how the social media works and unfortunately for those people who don't like to be on social media I don't know how well I will tell you how you can use your skills without posting yourself out there. You can try and create a fitness account but it's very hard because again as you learn about how social media works you're going to know that people make connections with people. For example a page that has a person on it for example on this channel it's me and another page that just explains about things. This account has a high probability of attracting more people than a fitness one and especially on Facebook and Instagram. I have tried that, I can tell you for sure. With a channel that has a person on it, it has a high possibility of attracting more people. Even as people are DMing you or sending you an email, they already feel like they know you or they know whom they're talking to than that fitness channel where they feel like they're talking to a ghost. Like they don't actually know who they are talking to. Yeah. And that is it for you to like make money online as a freelancer. You have to know the skill that you have. You have to know how to position yourself, how to price yourself. And finally, market yourself to the mass audience using the social media and if you do that i can assure you you'll be able to make money online with the skills that you already have and guys i'm talking out of experience i am a social media manager if you've been watching this channel for quite some time you would know that anyway guys that is it for today i'll see you in my next video